So today we are doing a video on third gen content. Um, the vehicle's not warmed up. I just pulled it out of the garage. Uh, I'll go over some of the different tunes. I'll take you for a drive and give you my initial impression. I've had this tuner for a while. Um, I bought this through 5.9 diesels. Um, it came with a total of seven tunes. Um, the first one was 30 horsepower. The second one was 60. You have a 90. Um, you have a 90 horsepower 12 valve tune, a 120 horsepower 12 valve tune. And because this has a built transmission, I got the two additional tunes for um, one is 160 and one is 210. Um, so a couple of things I've noticed about his tunes that I really, really like. Um, I actually really like the power level of the 120 12 valve tune. My only complaint is it's a little more smoky than I prefer. And um, I like the power level, but the 12, like the initial thought is it's cool for a 12 valve tune, but it is a little louder than normal. So in his tunes, um, for at least the 12 valve tunes, it will, um, I guess basically a 12 valve tune is a single injection series with the common rail. And um, in order, I guess that's really hard on startup. So his tunes are designed to um, knock into a 12 valve tune. It will go back and forth between the last flash tune and the 12 valve tune until the engine is at a certain operating temp. Um, his tow tunes are really, really good. Um, uh, so far with towing with it. Now, I do not have an EGT probe on this truck. I bought one, but I was waiting to get a different manifold anyway. So I can just, I don't want to have to drill and tap this one. I'd rather just get a, I wanted a steed speed manifold for this truck. So the manif or the EGT probe will just bolt straight into this. So, um, the only thing I'm not a big fan of, and this is not his fault. Um, the smarty MM three screens are a little bit dated. Like if you compare this to a CTS, for example, it is a much newer looking screen. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do a startup. I'll show you uh, how to do like a shift on the fly tune. So this is a 2005. There is no knob, but I'll show you how to do those. And then I'll show you some of the screen configurations as well. So um, like I said, this screen, actually the whole pillar set up. So I don't know if this has been touched in another video or not. This is out of an SRT 10. It literally has a gauge pod there and that is a CTS mount. Um, let me turn the heater off and you can mount, uh, the Smarty MM3 or the Smarty touch to that. So I really like that look. I didn't want to have to put anything up on the dash. And for me, it just worked out the best. So, I'm going to show you different shifts on the fly. And then, like I said, I'm also going to show you um, once this, I'm going to take it for a ride, I'll show you some of the different tunes. And then once it does warm up, because right now it's very, very cold. Um, once it does warm up, I'll show you or I'll let you hear what the 12 valve tunes sound like. So I have basic things like the speed. Um, I'm really not sure what the other ones do. Of course, the top one is for boost. Um, there's different layouts you can do for the screen. So, of course, you can data log, uh, do other stuff like that. So, with this tuner, the fact or uh, the initial load up tune that I have for this is the 90 horsepower one. Um, it's probably more than enough for just everyday driving. So, if you're trying to do shifts on the fly and you can do this while you're driving, it only takes probably less than 20 seconds to do this. Uh, hit the RT program button, and then you'll go to want to hit the RT custom power levels, and then that's the different tune. So um, I'm going to click on the 12 valve tune, let you listen to it right now, just so you can tell that there's no difference in what it sounds like. And also you'll be able to see the load time of this as far as what the shift on the fly is. Um, for 2006 up trucks, you can get the knob for it, but... Um, with this being an 05, of course, this is the best that you got. Now, you can hear it slightly raises that, but it doesn't change the injection series, and it's still pretty much quiet like a new common rail is. Um, like I said, I run around on... Actually, exit that. 
So of course it shows you what the initial boot one is and then it will show you what tune that we went to. Um, another thing I really like about this is, which I'll show that while I'm driving too, um, when you push the overdrive button, it actually turns overdrive off, which is super nice, especially with the built transmission since it kicks into overdrive a lot sooner. So I'll go to, uh, we'll just go to a street one, which should be the, I think, it, no, that's a 90. Let's go to the sport one, which is 160. So as you're driving, you'll be able to instantly feel a power level increase um, in the pedal as far as sensitivity goes. Like if you go down a tune, it goes, uh, it changes sensitivity. Or if you go to like the race one or a sport one, of course the pedal gets more aggressive. Like I said, you can hear the difference in the idle as far as the tunes go. Um, this is the 160 tune. So uh, I'll take you for a drive and I'll show you how much smoke it does and then hopefully by that point it will be warmed up and you'll be able to hear the difference I'll switch back and forth between the 12 valve tune and a normal tune so the window is down sorry for the noise but I just wanted to show you this is the 160 tune it is a little smoky I don't want to go too ham because it's raining out let me get on this straight away but um, actually I can also show overdrive too There's overdrive. There's third gear. It will not go into overdrive. Then you turn it back on, back into overdrive. But this is what it looks like with, I'm not gonna go wide open, but. So obviously I picked a bad day to do this, but uh, as you can tell, that's the 160 tune. Um, and it's not that smoky. And uh, the more that you don't lug it around, the higher in RPMs you are, it also smokes even less. So like from a 10 mile per hour roll uh, where there's boost lag, you will get a good puff of smoke out of this on pretty much any tune. And then once you get higher up and it's gets more air to the fuel then you don't have such an issue but um, I do really really like these tunes I'm super impressed they're just an off-the-shelf tune it's nothing special it's not an e-tune or anything but as far as an off-the-shelf tune goes it's really hard to beat um, now this video is not sponsored or anything this was just something I've read um, you know I, I've watched a lot of his videos on there like he has his tunes for when you're towing the engine fan comes on a little sooner stuff like that that I really really like um, now if you do want the ability to lock up overdrive uh, you can add a switch to this without turning off uh, overdrive but that's in one of his videos you can always look um, but overall um, it's not none of the tunes are that smoky the 12 valve one is a little bit hazy but uh, the overall power level of it all You get around this corner and I'll show you what it looks like kind of lugging on it. Try not to spin with it being raining. Alright. Yeah, so as you can tell, I mean that was almost all the way down. They don't honestly smoke, so I mean for an off-the-shelf tune, um, I am gonna be messaging him later on once I get a different turbo and stuff to see if he can actually send me a tune that's custom to my truck. Um, I just haven't got a chance to do that and I don't have another um, turbo yet for the truck. So um, I'm gonna get up here, flip around, and then I'll switch it over to the 12 valve tune since it should be warm enough. And I'll roll the window down so you'll be able to hear the difference when the tunes change back and forth. So I'm gonna try to make this quick just because uh, it's raining outside, but there's the RPMs. You can hear, I'll be quiet. You can hear the interior noise. And then, as you can tell from the screen, it is currently on the sport one. The top one is the current um, option that you pick. So let me switch this real quick because it's almost up to operating temp. I'll let you listen to one of the 12 valve tunes and it's pretty instant. So let me roll down the window. And especially when you get a load on it, that's when you can really, really hear the 12 valve. So this is the uh, 120 tune. So 
as you can tell, even with it still loading, it uh, went ahead and switched it over. So actually I'm gonna put it in reverse so you can hear it. I will drive like this. Um, I'm gonna roll the window up, but I will drive like this till I get home. And then I will, I'll let you listen to the sound difference whenever you switch it back into any of the other tunes. give it a little bit of the beans. So I'll also show you what it looks like smoke-wise. So like I said, power-wise, I do like this tune a little better than the 91. Um, the 12 valve sounds cool, but for real, uh, if I kind of wish he just had a 120 regular tune. I think it's the perfect everyday driving level tune. It's enough to make it feel quicker and it's like the perfect power level. So um, I'm gonna drive home and then I will get a video of me switching the tunes and um, that'll pretty much wrap up this video. It wasn't super long. If you guys have any questions about anything you saw in the video, you know, message me or my brother and we'd be more than happy to help you out with this. Uh, or if you, you wanna see it in action towing, I haven't towed anything recently, so if you want to see a video of that, I could always do another one later on when we do tow. But like I said, 12 valve tune does get a little bit annoying as far as the sound goes, but I do like the power level. So let me get home and I'll switch the tune out and then that'll wrap up this video. So I'm home now and I'm pulling into the garage. Um, you'll get a little better sound of what the 12 valve tune sounds like, especially in an enclosed area. switch this back to a normal tune. Sorry, it's loud, the window's down. This is what I'm talking about, it being loud. So I'm just gonna go and tow tune. It doesn't really matter, just get out of a 12 valve tune. There you go. That's how much quieter it is. So, I'm gonna shut this off. But, uh, there you go, it's, it's still writing it, but, uh, like I said, if you guys have any comments, questions, um, I'm a huge fan of his tunes. I can't speak enough about them. Um, they are able to, I guess I shut the truck off. Touch to close, yeah, because I shut the truck off. Um, you are able to get the tunes revised through him if you don't like anything about him. I'm sure he could probably get some of the smoke out of it. For me, it's not that big of a deal. Um, like I said, it would have been cool for me personally. I would have liked just a 120 regular tune. Uh, I think the 90 is not enough, but 160 is too much. Um, when you're driving, I will say this, the pedal gets way more sensitive, especially on the one or the 210 um, mode. Uh, the 210 is very, very spicy. Um, fuel mileage on these are great. Uh, whatever, I took this truck to Delaware, which is about three and a half hours away to get the transmission serviced by Muldoon's. Um, it was, I think it was getting 22, 23 on the highway, roughly. I didn't hand calculate, but it did very, very well for that trip. Um, so I have zero complaints about it. And especially with a built transmission, I feel like those two go very well together. Um, I feel like it makes the already good transmission even that much better. Um, so if you guys have any comments, questions, thanks for watching up to this point. Sorry, it's a lot of talking. But with the tuner, there's only 30 seconds of stuff that I can show you. This is just my impression of how I feel about it. So thanks again and comment below with any questions.